know it looks so different. I don't look like me. Um, but it's okay to embrace change. And I really like these a lot. I love how thick they are. It looks beautiful. Um, anyway, who wants to see my cat? She really loves drawers. So I'm going to show you my altar also. Ova, she's so cute. Okay, so I know in the witch world a lot of people kind of like shame others or like it's kind of frowned upon to show your altar space um, because of like, you know, any kind of negative energy that sees this can like be put on, like I don't, I don't care. My space is very sacred, it is very protected and I'm very proud of my altar. So here it is and Olva, she really likes being up here. Um, so here it is, and it's really cool. Look at this quote. Do not look back and grieve over the past, for it is gone, and do not trouble about the future, for it is yet to come. Live in the present and make it so beautiful it'll be worth remembering. And I love that quote so much. I think that it is perfect for where I am in my life right now. And it makes a really good little altarpiece of the kind of energy that I'm kind of centering. See, look at her. She's such a cute little cat. I love her so much. I really do. I love my cat. I love how in today's world witchcraft is becoming more popular. I love how this is a way that people can really tune in to their highest selves and make their dreams and their goals come true. It is truly an amazing and ancient form of empowerment and I absolutely love seeing younger people get into it but it can also be very dangerous because like yeah you're working with spirits but um there's so many misconceptions it's so crazy because in the metal community right so the metal community is like it's super like witchy too you know and what's crazy is I've gotten so much hate for like being like a crystal bitch like oh my god crystal I collect crystals. I've spent money on crystals. I'm so weird. I'm so dumb. I guess. Um, I work with crystals. I have for a long time. Like, I was raised a crystal girl. Um, but it's so exciting. And because I genuinely, I do not care anymore. I'm very happy to start educating people. Um, and also... I do tarot readings now as like a job so this is like my newest one of my newest additions um, it's like this little travel size rider weight tarot deck which is this is the original and if you want to pee your pants absolutely get a tarot reading from me I do them really cheap a lot of people charge like four hundred dollars for a reading I will give you like the best life guidance you will ever need for like 40 bucks Sometimes I do a lot of discounts, especially like throughout October. I am planning on doing like a discount or like, so like definitely follow my social medias. Everything will be linked in my bio. I do like, I do collective readings on my TikTok. So go follow my TikTok as well if you're on TikTok. Um, and yeah, I do tarot readings. I need to do one for myself. So, and definitely... If you guys have any questions about anything regarding like witchcraft or spirituality, it can be like, the dumbest question ever. Um, let me know and I could do a QA. and a um, You can message me on my Instagram. Um, you can message me on TikTok or like whatever. And I would love to do a Q&A. So go right ahead. Ask me just like genuine questions if you want to know more. All right, ready? You're not going to believe this. I'm so excited for the winter. You want to know why? I'm going to show you. Okay. I, I stole this uh, snow shovel. And I'm very excited because where I am from, we have very hard winters, very brutal, harsh winters. Got the upper Midwest winters. We love it here. Um, and like, yeah, snow brushes are, they're useful and everything, but what really, really makes it even better is when you have a snow shovel in your car. And this one's pretty good. I like this one because it, it's got like, like, it's very curved. So it picks up like more. And I mean, like it's old when I, when I found it 
Um, it was like at the front entrance of my old apartment. I just moved out, by the way. Like, I just moved out of my apartment. I never got to show you guys a proper tour of that place, but it was always very messy, and that was not my fault. Um, I stole this from the front entrance because I guess it belonged to the maintenance and everything, but it, there, there were so many cobwebs on it that I'm like, you know what? I'm taking this. I could use it. Because when there's so much snow and you just, like, can't move your car or anything, like, you know, having a snow shovel with you wherever you go is amazing. And you can, it can get the snow off the top of your car. Sometimes it's okay to steal things. Because, like, when I found it, like, there are so many cobwebs on it. Like, I don't think it's going to be missed. Yeah, so I guess I kind of want to, like, sit down for, like, a second here by my favorite tree ever. Um life is it's so good like I feel like I've grown so much and what's crazy is when you actually start to really heal people that are associated with your bad habits start to leave and it's wild it is actually wild to see it happen like before my eyes it's crazy um so about a year ago was the heaviest period of my life that I've ever drank um I used to drink a lot I used to I used to drink a lot everybody thinks that I'm like a heroin addict or like a crackhead or like a meth head and I mean obviously none of that's true because I would have no teeth if I if I was um it's very it's very obvious so if you want to believe that you can go right ahead I don't care um I however drank very heavily I'm surprised I'm still alive I was very miserable with my life. I was very lost. Um, I was very unhappy. And I would chain smoke cigarettes and I would vape like all the time. And I'm so grateful because I was able to quit nicotine altogether. It has been like, it's been a couple months now. It's been a couple months and I am so grateful that I did. It started to like really hurt my lungs. Like, like it hurt when I would breathe like I'll just have like one or two glasses of wine and that's all because I, my body cannot handle it anymore and, and what's weird is that I'm 21 I'm actually turning 22 next month um all of my friends all of my former friends are like they're super into partying and clubbing and going to bars and I'm just like not at my last job like people would be getting fucking wasted in the coolers and shit and, um, I don't know, it's like, I understand being young and wanting to party, like, I've been there, I've done that, but it's just weird being 21, you'd figure that's all I would want to do, like, Jersey Shore ass, you know, like, it's not, honestly, it's not, like, to me, I just, like, I don't really, like, I don't really resonate with that, I, I honestly, like, I've really grown to enjoy my tea, and sitting outside and like reading a book. I actually like really enjoy that. I don't like to talk about this topic because um, 2020 was a seriously rough year for me. Um, I don't do drugs. I've never touched hard drugs ever. What's crazy is I haven't used nicotine or heavily drank in a while. And my anxiety, like, I, my anxiety is so, so much less than what it used to be. I used to be getting anxiety, like, going into, like, borderline anxiety and panic attacks over just, like, the tiniest things. And now it's like, yeah, there's a lot of nerve-wracking things and a lot of stressful things going on in my life right now, but I'm able to remain calm, you know? very stoic in nature genuinely um and it's like what is the point of freaking out over things what's the point of driving yourself sleepless nights worrying about things worrying about people worrying about what ifs there is no point because no amount of guilt will change the past and like i'm saying no amount of anxiety will change the future it is as it presents itself to you and you make the choice of how you respond to things we cannot control everything but we can control how we react and learning to be less of a reactive person 
when things don't go my way, learning to take control of my emotions and to become still, kind of like, you know, I like trees, so like, be like a tree or when people are berating you and throwing insults at you, just like, let that let that run off your body like water, like you are standing in the shower or standing under a waterfall and just letting the water pour over you. But it's but you're not absorbing any of it. So I think that's all I really kind of wanted to touch base with you guys. Um, ask me any questions you want about you know my life, how I'm doing, because um, I don't know. I I'm not very active a lot of times. Ask me any questions you want about witchcraft, and. I can make a series. Um, I don't know everything, but I've been doing this for like 10 years now, so. Um, life is amazing. Happy September. Honestly. Oh, thank God August is over. Happy September, and as always, everybody, stay metal.